then you can see that the particular mode of analysis becomes fungible. If it's economic analysis yeah, for yeah. Marx, then you get classical Marxism. If it's race analysis for the critical race theorists, it's almost, you have to massage around the edges, but right. it's almost the exact same architecture. Yeah, well, that's certainly what it seemed to me to be. You know, one of the things that's been disturbing, I suppose, on the gaslighting front is whenever I draw a relationship between postmodernism and neo-Marxism, first of all, people say two things that I don't know what I'm talking about, which, by the way, is rarely the case. <laughs> and second, that you know, that's that's a conspiratorial misreading of the relationship, that there's nothing, to, that most postmodernism has nothing to do with Marxism. And, you know, I've taken that criticism seriously because it happens a lot. 